Hello everyone. Today we are going to focus on Azure Network Troubleshooting. So when it comes to troubleshooting, it's not like normal on-premises networks. When it comes to Azure, everything is pretty much virtual. So in on-premises networks, we use a range of tools in order to troubleshoot network related issues, something like to protocol analyzers, packet capturing tools, and including ping kind of command line command, uh, command line tools and various other third party tools. But when it comes to virtualization, virtualized networks, it's not that easy to run third party tool because everything is virtualized pretty much. So uh, in that sense, there were certain questions asked asking about troubleshooting part of it and the networks. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the networking components and features that we have in Azure a technology. So let's begin. So this is my Azure portal. So if you look at here, you have virtual networks there. So you can create virtual networks in Azure. It's pretty much similar to our on-premises network segment. And within a network, we can configure number of subnets. So I'm not going to uh, show you how to create a uh, virtual network today because our concentration today is uh, troubleshooting. So if you look at here, overview, so this is virtual network. And if you look at uh, the address space is in this case, 10.2.0.0.0 slash 16 and 10.3.0.0 slash 16. And if you look at subnets, so within the, this virtual network, uh, we have number of subnets. So in a virtual network, you can have a number of subnets, but single gateway subnet. If you notice, if you, you know, notice we have single subnet, gateway subnet, and the option to create subnet has grayed out. So this is that. And also you can connect devices here. And if you go into subnets, let me go into uh, one of the subnets there. So you can see the subnets are connected to the devices. Now, so as I explained earlier, so devices are connected to subnet and there can be number of subnets within virtual network. So within a subnet or within a virtual network, how to troubleshoot between two nodes. So that's what we're going to do. And there is a special tool or special service known as Network Watcher. So you can find this one. So this is the tool that we're going to use in order to troubleshoot. And once you create your virtualized network, there are few options available in Network Watcher. So this is the one. And if you go into topology, number one is you can select uh, your subscription and the resource group and the network, and then it would show you the topology. So this is sort of a network map where you can just download topology as a SVG file, where you can open up and you can use this for various purposes, including build your network and having network map. So network topology is very useful, especially when you are starting your troubleshooting or start your troubleshooting on virtual environments, then you know exactly what are the components within your virtual network, especially virtual you know, subnets, virtual networks, and also NSGs, network security groups, and other uh, interfaces. And then if you look at here, uh, there is another option uh, known as uh, connection monitor. If you add here, you can find out from running virtual machine, to another virtual machine, how communication works. In my case, unfortunately, I can't, uh, you know, show you this because my virtual machine is not running now because it's switched off. But virtual machine is running. You can see from uh, one virtual machine to any other destination, how traffic goes per specific port. You would see here that, right? So, so source port and also probing interval can be configured there. So it's again another useful, uh, uh, you know, the tool. And also you can create connection monitor, right? So from, uh, you can configure a workspace uh, configuration and then you can configure connection monitor there. And the next one uh, is network performance monitor. For that, you can connect this to Azure Sentinel, which is a security information event management system, uh, virtual. Uh, if you look at there, I have created one workspace. There you can use uh, this workspace to monitor uh, the entire virtual network, including you can connect virtual machines and other activity logs and so on. 
and the next one is you can configure or diagnose using IPV flow IP flow and then you can verify from one net virtual machine network interface and TCP or UDP protocol and inbound or outbound traffic for specific port so it's really really important uh, feature where you can specifically look at the traffic flow inbound or outbound from one virtual network to another and if you look at next one the next hop something similar to trace route or trace RT command where you would understand from one source IP to a destination IP address what are the hops in between so it's again really important uh, when it comes to troubleshooting the other one is when you configure uh, rules of uh, firewall rules in this case uh, network security groups or NSGs so you can configure uh, allow or deny traffic rules uh, using uh, NSGs network security groups so when you have that in order to understand what are the traffic that uh, you know our NSG blocking or allowing in order to understand that they have given these effective rules so there you can configure uh, you need to specify the uh, group and the virtual machine again my virtual machine is not running if uh, it's running it runs it would show you associated network security groups which is something similar to packet filtering firewall both inbound and outbound you can configure rules to allow or deny traffic so using that you can you, you would see what are effective rules for this virtual network and then it has even VPN troubleshooting option where if you have configured VPN within virtual network uh, you can troubleshoot VPN as well if you want to capture the packets that also there so if you click on there here you can configure a resource group and target virtual machine and then you can specify a packet capture name let's say test dot cap and then you can configure the storage account to store this packet captured file and then you can configure this uh, the maximum byte per packet then it will automatically create multiple packets according to the size of the packets that you are gonna monitor and then the maximum bytes per session time limit and also if you want you can configure certain uh, protocols or other filtering tools as well so then you can capture specific information to this packet capturing file for an example let's say if you want to analyze encryption encrypted packets then you can specify specific IP addresses and other uh, requirements or the protocols and then only these files will be these information will be captured within packet capturing file and then later you can download the capturing file or packet packet capture captured packet then you can analyze it using Wireshark or whatever the comfortable that tool that you have so in that way you can really easily uh, troubleshoot uh, virtual networks in uh, uh, Azure and the next thing is uh, also you have connection troubleshooter there so you can uh, configure this as well and also there are some logs NSG flow logs uh, network security group logs and um, diagnostic log so from that you can find out more information during your troubleshooting so this is to just give you a brief overview about features that we have within network watcher especially to understand the network behavior this will be helpful for us to troubleshoot network related issues in virtual uh, Azure especially when you connect uh, uh, Azure network Azure virtual networks to uh, your the physical on-premises network and if you create virtual VPN connection then when it comes to troubleshooting it can be challenging without this type of this type of a tool so using network watcher you can solve most of the uh, issues and I hope uh, this is informative and uh, uh, useful and thanks for viewing this video hope to see you next video